For this DIY, you're going to need your fabric of choice, some bias binding, some scissors, and a needle and thread or a sewing machine which is my preferred choice. First I've just cut a really simple triangular shape that I'm going to be using for my bunting and then I've just added about half a centre of seam allowance around the total edge of these triangles. I'm just going to use this as a template to cut all of my triangles for my bunting. So I'm just cutting out all of the triangles for my bunting. You can use a plain coloured fabric for the back of the bunting so cut half of the triangles out in your fabric of choice and then half of the triangles in a plain fabric but I wanted my bunting to be double sided so I just cut all of my triangles out of my pattern fabric. So now I'm just sewing my pieces together so you want to sew your triangles together right sides together and then sew around the bottom two edges so leave the top edge If you need to, just trim any extra fabric off that might bulk out the triangles when you turn them inside out. And then I just snip the very top, as you can see here, just so when I turn the triangles inside out, you get a nice clean point at the tip. And I just use my scissors to really carefully push this point out. And this is basically all you need to do to make the main flags of the bunting. And then you can press these in place with an, an iron or a heat press just to make them a little bit neater. So when you've got loads of these, you can put your bunting together. So I've actually got a binding foot here which you can actually find on eBay for about £3 and it just makes it a lot easier to put together buntings using bias tape. So I'm just starting by sewing a couple of inches along the tape for the start of the bunting and then I'm just gonna slip in each flag one at a time, just sandwiching it between the bias tape and then sewing this down. This foot makes it so much easier to do. But if you don't wanna buy one of these feet, you can just fold your bias tape in half and pin the flags in between and then just sew along the edge. Hopefully you can see a little bit better in this clip how I'm putting the bunting together. And then that's pretty much it, just end the tape the same way that you started it with a little length of about two or three inches. And then if you want to make a loop, make a little loop at the end and then sew this in place. And there we go, really simple, really easy, but it just looks so cute. I actually sell buntings like this on my Etsy shop, so if you're interested in purchasing them rather than making them yourself, then I will link my Etsy shop below. 